Orbis Division of Commerce, Industry and Tourism does not set fees for citizens to pay to be part of tourism programs that are running in the province. Tourism officers are paid to do their jobs and run programs in the province. Hence, these programs should be free. Provincial Program Advisor Tali Yanga emphasized on this following recent social media posts and news articles regarding cruise ship visits to Morabe. Certain individuals and organizations, including church leaders, have been selling the idea and charging lay residents to take part in a tour guide training. When it comes to tourism, the office that is responsible to do it, uh, deal with tourism is the Division of Commerce, Industry and Tourism. This is the office that TPA, uh, I'm putting this notice to the TPA as well now. TPA, because TPA, they just come and go and deal with the con people on the street. And these are the people who are creating the problem as well. TPA is supposed to be coming and working with the Division of Commerce, the legal, legally mandated um, provincial administration, uh, the division. So this is the office that TPA is supposed to be connecting with. And we connect with the people and the service providers, the industry players in the district. Yanga further explained that the task of bringing cruise ships is no easy job. It requires planning and months of preparation, including money. He drew attention to P&O Cruises, which is owned by British American cruise operator Carnival Corporation and PLC. Individuals are using the name of this cruise line to scam people, promising them money and benefits once the cruise ships start arriving in Morobe. Furthermore, some of these people, mostly from settlements, had to pay fees for the so-called processing of their passports and visas to go to Dubai. It's a big, you know, shipping company in the world. You cannot just go and bring that ship, yeah, that ship into, into our port. Huh? It needs planning, it needs time, it needs resources. So, PNG TPA, being the custodian of the law that governs the operation of, um, you know, tourism in this country, must be first notified. And it should, uh, through its network and through its marketing strategy, should be the organization heading the, uh, the ship to come to our to our province. So it should be the first organization that should know. And then coming to the province, no. We at the Moravia Provincial Government Administration must know of the uh, arrival of the ship, uh, when, when the ship is going to come, and, and this. So we should be at the forefront of preparation and all this. Once again, the public is asked to be cautious of people posing as tourism officers or representatives of the provincial government. Jasmine Nero, TV1 News.